a year ago and some change, I got really excited about the OPZ and I uh, was not out yet. So with that sort of desire to consume, the desire to purchase and have that synthesizer, I I ended up buying this sweatshirt because because I was still so excited about it. I've never done that before. Um, I think that is definitely a testament to the marketing skills of the teenage engineering folks. So seriously, hats off. I was really excited about the OPZ because it was doing something that I feel like um, there just isn't, um, in terms of portable sequencing, there isn't as much battery powered uh, that are super fully featured and everything. So um, I was really excited about this thing. And <laughs> so I went out and bought this shirt. Now I'm going to go ahead and wear my OPZ sweater uh, for the unboxing of the actual OPZ. And I'm super excited about that. So I bugged the guys at Sweetwater a lot about um, updates for the synthesizer. So uh, thank you to them and apologies uh, for, <laughs> for my behavior. So there she is. Man, I know everyone says this, but it's so tiny. Um, oh, I got some candy as well. Sweetwater saying thank you. It is Halloween today, so um, thank you, Sweetwater, for my first and only Halloween candy for the day. All right, so there she is. Um, yeah, if you tune into my channel, it's probably not... Uh, because you like super high fidelity recordings. But uh, this is what the OPZ looks like on VHS. On the back, there's some little graphics, uh, which at this point are meaningless to me, but I presume will have meaning. And let's see. How do I do this? Uh, there's a little tab to tear away. Okay, so I've torn a tab. Now can I pull a tab? Ah, there we go. Ah, there she is. Okay. Another f fellow who did a unboxing or like first impressions of of the actual device already talked about this <clears throat> and other folks have gone over the features. I don't actually know how to use it yet. I've been researching and reading about the features and how it's used, but, um, I don't know what that looks like in practice. So I'm, I'll get to that soon. But, um, as other people have said, it is tiny, uh, ridiculously tiny and it is surprisingly heavy. Actually, it's got a little heft to it. It's not metal like the OP one, um, but I think it feels really sturdy. Um, yeah, it does have a little flex as, uh, there's a channel, uh, by a, a guy who goes by Nom Chomsky and, uh, or Nom Nom Chomsky. I'm gonna have to edit that out. But, uh, there's a fellow who already did one of these on the physicality of, uh, of the OPZ and everything he said is right on. Um, it's heavy. It is sort of a, very uh, marbled and textured plastic. Um, it's not shiny, as you can see, it's very matte. And um, it's got a whole bunch of buttons on it. And the buttons uh, feel pretty nice. They've got a decent amount of spring to them, but they're pretty easy to push, really. And then these um, potentiometers, these knobs, just like you just look at them and they turn. So these are really interesting. I'm curious. Um, to try these out some more. It's interesting, the coating on them is not super grippy, it's almost kind of slippery, but it takes like no effort to turn them, so I'm sure that will sort of even out. This little guy still confuses me. I'm not sure why they didn't just go with another one of these flat encoders on the side, um, because it seems like it would probably be 
prone to damage, but they give most of their design stuff a lot of thought. So presumably there's some reason for this other than just, you know, that it looks kind of vaguely like a melodica. Okay, I'm going to turn it on for the first time. Let me get the uh, microphone in here. Ooh, that is a lovely sound. Uh, <laughs> it's completely out of focus. Let's see if my camera will catch up here. Okay, so as you can see, um, it looks just like it does in the pictures. It is actually smaller than the one on my sweater. Um, it's just, as everyone else has already said, it's so small. Um, it is heavier than I would have thought, and the plastic um, has a really solid feel to it. I love to compose on the QY100, and this one has sort of like calculator buttons. They're very, um, particularly on, you know, if they're, if you're, QY100 is a couple of years old. Um, they're a little squishy, but uh, they are really nice. I feel like you can use them for a long time without sort of the fatigue that comes with some of the other groove boxes where it's really hard to push the buttons. And those LEDs look crazy in this VHS camera. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that any better, but kind of cool. And I have no idea how to use this thing. So apparently that's some kind of tape trick. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's just a sequence playing. I'm doing nothing. It's, <laughs> it's like when I was a little kid and I would go play the arcade games and didn't know that you needed to put quarter, quarters in them. Yep. Okay, well, I know how to play it, and I know how to stop. But that is all that I know so far. So I guess I'm going to go dig into this thing. Um, let's take a look at what else is in the box real quick. Uh, there's the box again. And inside that is uh, some paper stuff, reading materials. Um Looks like there's some little templates in here. I'm sure other people have shown pictures of these, but uh, it looks like this this template sort of serves as a tutorial. Usually this would be a graphical overlay in a video game or something if you're doing the tutorial level. And here it looks like they've applied the same principle, but using paper. So you can learn what all the buttons are. Um, and it looks like they kind of do it a section at a time. So that's kind of smart. It is a BYOS, you know, bring your own screen. But um, rather than, you know, if you're an Android user or something and you don't have a screen, you can still learn how to use it, uh, presumably by using these templates. So that's cool. I really like the idea of composing without a screen, so I'm very excited to try that out. And then a pretty nice USB cable. It's actually high quality. <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully um, you enjoyed that uh, little unboxing that I just did. If you have any questions about the OPZ or any aspect of what, uh, what you get when you order it, uh, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Like, subscribe if you liked and want to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Keep making music and keep being humans. Is it like... Get it.